Around the middle of 2009, you and some of your classmates at school suddenly developed a very keen interest in crystals. So you and I mounted an expedition to Thunderbird Park, situated on Mount Tambourine, about an hour or so south of Brisbane. You were a seeker of the truth, and had come fully prepared to unearth it, even if it did mean a full-scale archaeological dig, and confronting this rather fearsome-looking creature. She's a pterodactyl from the Triassic Age, and the eggs of her ancestors, laid here millions of years ago, are the much sought-after thunder eggs of today. OK, good morning, Renata, and welcome to Thunderbird Park. My name's Linda, and what you're going to be looking for today are thunder eggs. Now, these are over 200 million years old. They started out as bubbles of gas in the ground, and silicates and mineral leached inside as the earth hardened and cooled and that's what forms the rock and crystals that we find when we cut them open. We are a rhyolite based mine here and we are unique. We're the only one of this type in the world. So what you find here today you won't find anywhere else. Okay, a bit about your pig's safety darling. Have you seen Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs? Yep. Okay, so you've seen them singing the song and going off to work. Well, that was Dopey's idea, and he's not too bright. We don't do that there here. The reason is, if you fall, your pick's going to go on the ground, and you're going to fall on top of it. So you can sing the song, honey, but you can't have your pick like that, okay? Okay, well, let's get you mining. Linda gave you a much better rock collecting kit than the one you bought from home and it wasn't long before you were hard at it, carefully assessing each specimen before adding it to your brimming bucket. Daddy, can you help me? Here you go. Take it inside. I can't. Too heavy. Daddy, you're not lifting. It's too heavy. Daddy, you know what I said? It's too heavy. So I had to rest the camera on my backpack to capture this dramatic shot of myself carrying the bucket of treasure trove inside, where Linda began the exciting task of revealing its inner beauty. You weren't allowed into the room where the cutting was being performed, so I had to curb your impatience and content yourself by watching the whole procedure through a pane of protective glass. When she's not working at the mine, Linda's an international radio star, hosting her own music program on an internet radio station based in America. Another amazing example of how our global village is shrinking, when someone can broadcast to the world from the wilds of Mount Tambourine. Check her program out at www.bwor-radio.com she can be heard in Australia usually around 5am till 7am, then again from 8pm till 11pm on Saturday and Sunday nights. In the moment of truth. That's amazing. What you've got there is some banded agate, some chalcedony and some rhyolite. That's a beautiful egg. She did very, very well. What you've got here is you've got jaspers and you've got agate through there. This one, you've got the classic thunder egg star there. That's a very special egg. You've got a little cave in there. That's agate and quartz. And you've got jaspers around the outside. This one, you've got amethyst. You've got your jaspers and you've got blue lace agate in there. It's very, very pretty. So it was home from work we went carrying a load of precious crystals, made all the more precious by the fact that you'd worked so hard to find them yourself, instead of just spending a fortune down at the jewellery shop. The buckets are all filled up with crystals. Crystals are very um, beautiful and, they, and they're very vegetable.